Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Shapes IO coming at you. Uh, we, we're getting a lot done. We're getting absolutely a ton done. We're working on the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, last episode, well, I think this is the final piece, I don't know. Um, we went ahead and completed up this. We're already starting to see a tally going on. Um, we're also now working on this piece right here. So things are coming together. Our old pin square boyos, what have you. So I'll just take a quick look at what's going on. I need to sneeze. Hold on. I mean, I start recording and then I have to sneeze. I don't know if it's an allergy thing or what. Maybe I just start talking. Hold on. Ooh, my word. Okay, it passed. Uh, so, I have these half square, half pinwheel things. Uh, I'm cutting them, merging them. Cutting them, merging them, and then cutting them again. And then sending them off. Uh, why are these not working? Oh, they are. Kind of. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, so, what I have here is I have really two sets of pieces. I have these are the squares. And these need to be green. And on the other side, I've got the pinwheelie dues, and these need to be red. So I'm going to paint and merge, and then paint, and then merge some more. So, painter. One of these 16 stacks of painters ought to be perfect. Uh, let's see here. Something like this. Copy. Cool. And now pin square was our latest iteration of what was going on. So I have this. So I need to paint. These are the square bits. And square bits need to be green. So where is some green up in the business? Business up in there. So paste. Uh, the shapes are going to come from the bottom. The paint is going to come from the side. This will work out pretty darn well, I think. Boop. Pretty sure I have this set up the way I want. Yes, perfect. Okay, we already have the splitter set up, so this is gonna be just put them in. Ba -ba 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 and this will ensure that all the pieces get stacked proper. That worked out incredibly well. Okay, I need this to... Hold on. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I need this to be green. And we've got some green around here somewhere. I think I noticed it. Yep, right up there. Cool, cool. Uh, so, we're going to get some splitter action going on. Some balancer. Okay, I remember this time. I, I totally remember this time. Okay. And... Ba 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 da ta da ta 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 There it is. What is that, a trombone? Trumpet kind of a thing? I have no idea. I've got no sense of music whatsoever other than, hey, that's that sounds pretty cool. I could tap my feet to that, slap my slap my knees about that, yeah. That's really about it. I don't have any real inclination for music, just Ooh, that sounds good i like that yeah what, what is what is that <laughs> like i can't talk keys or tone or notes oh what is that a b flat c minor and a half over a three three second score time double pass yeah that's good beats no i can't no <laughs> i probably just made up all the words oh what is what is that third down pass hail mary throw through the quarterback sneak yeah for sure <laughs> which i've also just proven is the same level of intellect i have for sports which is nothing I'm a big old dum dum. So these are gonna get painted, they're gonna get merged, and then they're gonna shovel off to wherever we're gonna paint the red for the other stuff. So I do have to merge this in a couple of steps. Uh, there is no four square merger, right? Uh, for stacker, I keep calling them mergers. I'm using the wrong terms for too many things. So what I do have is this the double two side split pass 
underthrow Merjimajig, right? I need something like that. Okay, pin square. Come on. And V for victory. So that should give us the half squares we require. Yep, that looks great. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint this. We're going to stamp this down literally like we did it last time, right next to it. Something like this. And then we'll feed the other stuff on the other side, and it'll be great. So red is the next item of business. Let's get the paper. 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 <laughs> Let's get the painter blueprint out here again. Uh, I need something like that. We'll take the splitters as well. Uh, copy. There we go. 8,000. Oh, up. Oh. I said copy blueprint, and then it was saving, and then everything was going nuts. This needs red pigment. Um, it actually doesn't matter how this slices. Uh, I think I would like to go this way because red is below. Right? It makes this easier. And then just feed it all the way up. And then merge it. Uh, the other, actually, the other option would be something like this, and then I bring red down, and then pass up all the excess back up. I think that's what I want. I can't decide what I want. I can't decide whether you should live or die. Oh gosh, I got that song in my head now. Uh, let's do it this way. I think I like this better. Uh, a little more compactness, I suppose. Did the game just freeze? Uh, I'm missing some of the blueprint here. There we go. Okay. Either copy too much or too little. Can't decide which. So it doesn't matter. Um, actually. That's how this is supposed to work. You alright there, buddy? There you go. Yeah, if we really wanted full 16 throughput, I need to double a bunch of these machines twice. I think we're only producing really four, maybe, maybe eight worth. But we're definitely not producing 16 worth like we have on other stuff. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Okay. Craps. Right about there. Awesome. Okay, this will get the red side done. Then we merge the red with the green. We merge the green and red pinwheelie do with the circle. I'm doing this right, aren't I? Yes. Okay. Cool. Still good music. <laughs> Not gonna deny, still good music. Okay, that all plugs in quite nicely. Oh, did I miss? I missed. There we go. All right. So we have these things. <laughs> now I need the this thing. Copy? Uh, no. That's not right. 
No, that's not right. Uh, I think I just need that. And this should merge up both the pieces and give us this, and then one more of these. Yep, uh, that works. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting really excited. Uh, I need another one. And just slam bang, like right here. But let's give us a little bit of room. There's no rush for any of this. So, oh, 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 there we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking back and I'm wondering how I could have done this more efficiently and I'm realizing there's probably a bunch of ways I could have been more efficient about this, but whatever, right? How far off are we? Not very far. Let's try that. Is that good? That is good. Cool. All right. We're talking. Now, I'm starting to run out of my uh, blueprint box. So I need to be a bit more careful about how we utilize that. Uh, I don't have... <laughs> Yeah, maybe two or three more copy-pastes and I'll be out. Uh, so I might want to double back and get that kind of cleaned up. That's kind of the idea. Okay, do these shapes look the way they should? They absolutely do. Most excellent. Cool, we're, we're actually reaching the end of this. Now, the only thing that's going to be is literally waiting for 120,000 of these. And what I might end up doing off camera is just clean up uh, if I don't need half the shapes anymore it's kind of the same idea I had was there's no need to waste precious computer cycles right it doesn't help us do anything collecting and amassing parts I don't need I might scrap them down uh, I guess I mean scrapping kind of dictates that I would get something in return like recycling or something but I'm not gonna get anything back these things didn't cost me anything to build them, so whatever. I don't know how smooth the recording is for this, but on my screen it's starting to get a little jaggedy jaggedy. And I think that's just from having too much crap on the board. Uh, I don't have a mega sophisticated PC. I've got something I custom built, which has been treating me really well the last, I don't know, three years. But yeah, I'm probably going to need something else <laughs> to keep up with this game. Um, okay, so we have our pin square wheels. And I need these things. So really, really right now, I'm just kind of waiting. Um, let's see here. We're very early into this episode, so there's really no reason to just wait. And I don't want to wait either. What I could do somehow is work on breaking this apart and getting more of these worked out. Because this is our big bottleneck, right? We've got all the green star things. This is our big, our big ouch, ouch problem. Uh, let's see. Yep, we're backed up on red pieces. We're backed up on regular pieces. Uh, we're still pretty backed up on everything, I think. I still don't understand why this side... Uh, oh, we're actually starting to run a little low on parts up here. Uh, is there any bottlenecks here I need to be aware of? The cutting, but I think the cutting gets an upgrade soonish. Yeah, cutting, rotating, stacking. Uh, because of how soon we're going to get an upgrade, I kind of don't want to mess with stuff. So I'm just going to hit spacebar, warp us all the way back to the hub... And let's do our cleanup now. Do I need red star? Do I, I don't need any of these at all. This can go away. Uh, we're just going to be nuking parts. Oh boy, that didn't work. Yep, I did not want that to happen. There we go. Okay, I have to hold down like six keys to make this work. I'm thinking this is a smart move because, again, yeah, get rid of it. 
Everything we can get rid of is going to make the game run faster. I don't need these pieces anymore at all. Unless the game is just going to gotcha me and be like, You should have kept your factory. You still need those parts, you damn silly billy of a kid. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that would be really friggin' funny to somebody, I'm sure. Uh, let's save some of the larger machiny parts and double check and make sure that I don't need it anymore. This is our painting thing, and I already have the painter saved somewhere else. This is our 16x painter. Yep, I already... Okay, so I need to save some of this. Let's cut the production, though. Uh, I don't need any of this production anymore. So that can go... Yep, get rid of it. And... Yep. And we're going to do something like this. Yep. And what's up here? Like circles or something? Oh, is the game saving? Ugh! Uh, what is... What was this piece? What is this? Oh, stars. Okay. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and... Three thousand items. Yeah, get rid of it. We're probably not going to see any massive uh, performance boosts, but it's less computational power this thing needs to chunk through. I think that's going to be good. Yep, get rid of it. Uh, this was painting what? Oh, just red on the stars. Okay, well, guess what? Yep, I already have the blueprint saved. It's not that big of a deal. It's the one thing I'm going to leave alone are the blueprints themselves. So here's my 16x blueprint. Here's my mixer. Uh, if I had enough blueprint bits, I would actually copy this and paste it all the way back at the hub. But I don't really have that right now. This was circles or something. This was some ridiculous amount of... Yep, this uses the same blueprint majig. Don't need any of that. Another 4,000. Cool, cool. So, what are my thoughts on the game? We've gotten a few more episodes in since I've done, like, a real recap of sorts. Um, the real thing is... We're going to... I think we're getting into the infinite game mode. If there is such a thing. Because uh, this is really indicative of, like, Factorio when it came to infinite research. Is you need just a lot more of what you've already been doing over and over and over and over again. And this is where we'll kind of hit, like, a free play mode, I guess. Oh, boy. Uh, but the free play mode is definitely where... We'll call this a, a deal. I've already done the missions. I'm pretty happy with that. Leave the rest of the game and all of the curiosity to someone else, you know? Uh, because at that point, this is going to become kind of a... Yep, this is going to be kind of an idle game. Because once I make the same shape, the only thing that's really going to happen is just me making more of the same shape. So this is our merger. Uh, let's go ahead and nix out more of this. Yep. Yep, yep. So in this case, with the way this game operates, I would really have like a blueprint graveyard, so to speak. I would take all the blueprints and move them somewhere else, make sure they're well fed and taken care of. And I just wouldn't use any of that territory whatsoever. That's more what would happen with that. So I don't think I have this thing. I mean, I think I do, but I think it's set somewhere else. So what's another blue uh, BPX16 painter? So I think I have this somewhere else and it's just called stacker. Yep. Okay, so we're going to come back here. We are going to delete this. BP X16 Stacker. Yep, and now we'll just delete everything else. So this is another iteration of the stacker. Yep, it's the same thing. Very cool. So this... Get it out of here. That frees up a couple of hub spots. That we've been freeing up thousands of items. And I don't need any of that. Or that. Yep. 
I know you can disable the message. We don't have to see the message every single time, but I like to see it. So if I could copy and paste these somewhere else, that would be very ideal. Um, let's see here. No, cancel. Holy crap. 5,000. Uh, it's not worth it. We can keep this as our blueprint graveyard. That's totally fine. Okay, what else in the hub do we no longer require? Um, I think I still need most of these, right? Um, I really don't think I need these half squares anymore. We've already cut them. Do we need the blue half squares? I don't think we need those anymore. Nice little cleanup, right? And get out of here. Can I select the hub and delete the hub? No, you can't. Okay, that would be hilarious. For about seven seconds and then realize that there's no undo command and then lose everything. Yep, uh, this was a fine little chunk. That was our blue half squares. Get rid of that. Oh, what else? What's this? What was this supposed to be? Red circles, which I don't think I ever needed or needed and then didn't need or something. But that goes away. Yep. It was never really something that I was working on, I suppose, anymore. Uh, gray stars. Yep, those can go away. Yep, don't need that anymore. And what do we have left over here? Purple with white circle. Which we have a ton of, but that's okay. That can still be flying in. No problems there. Red, red whirly gig, red pinwheel. I don't really need any more of those. What about these? This I probably need to lease, but it's asking for 60,000, so I kind of want to keep those. Um, we're halfway through getting our next cutting and stacking upgrade. That's going to be brilliant. So I don't need any of these, do I? Nope, I really don't. Okay, where do these go? Two go to the left and one goes to the up. So let's just follow this all the way. I'm going to really regret if this doesn't stop right here and I still need some of these pieces and it's like, oh my god, I got to rebuild this thing? No way. I think I would just stop playing. I think the, 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 the let's play would stop right there and it'd be like, I'm not rebuilding that thing. I built it already. I'm not rebuilding it. Uh, maybe I should have saved my game like as a, as a save file before I went and started nuking everything, but that's all right. Um, was there anything really here that I wanted to preserve? Uh, this just has some twirly-whirly gigs. This was a different... Nope, this is the same blue... Uh... Blueprint. I wonder if this is reversed from our regular. So hang on. Test. Items coming in the bottom. Paint coming in the left. Nope. Paint coming in the bottom. Items on the left. Paint bottom items left. Paint bottom items left. Paint bottom items left. So paint bottom items left. That's the same thing. Uh, the orientation is different. The orientation is different, but that's okay. Uh, there's nothing really here that's magical that I want to keep. That was kind of a mess. Uh, let's just double check any of this to make sure that was splitter nonsense. I already have a pretty proper paint mixer. Let's go back to our mixer, make sure I'm really happy with this. Yeah, I think this is the exact same thing. So that's fine. Let's go back to test. My screen already feels quite a bit more responsive now that we're cleaning up some of this stuff. Uh, this is, what is this? More mixers. Okay, I don't need any of that crap. So all this can go away, go away test. This is gonna be huge. I wonder how many items we're deleting. Gosh, just selecting it is making it lag so bad. And delete. 10,294 items, yes. The purging. Uh, it's deleting a lot of stuff, yep. Very nice. Oh, that's much better. What is this? 
purple circle. I don't think I'm using purple circle at all anymore. I'm absolutely not. Cool. So this can get this can get nixed. All that. Yep. Uh, I don't see anything revolutionary here from what we were doing. Paint mixing and all that. That can go. Boop. As long as I keep my nice blueprints, uh, we can regenerate any of this with very little amounts of effort. How are our blueprint currencies coming through anyway? Uh, not as much of a backlog as I would have hoped. And actually, can we just go straight down from here and hit the hub? Kinda, almost, not really. Okay. Um, what I will do is I will run a second wire. I keep calling them wires. They're belts. They're totally, absolutely belts. They're nothing to do with wiring or anything of the sort. And the game is saving. Excellent. Ah, damn it. Alright. Come on, you. Now, of course, another way that we could reduce how many processing cycles, so to speak, are being used. Um, another obvious fix would be reduce the amount of belts. Reduce the amount of belts reduces how much collision checking and all that other rig rigmarole is required for it to say, Hey, I want to move up. I'm an item and I want to move up. Is there anything in my way? And then it has to do a bunch of collision detection and say, Yes, there are items in your way. Stay put. Now, depending on how the logic is written based on that will determine ultimately how much how much energy needs to go into that sort of a thing, if that makes sense. Um, I don't like you doing that anymore. Cool. Maybe the same thing with the underneath these as well, with the tunnels. Depending on how it's implemented will greatly dictate on how much of an energy and or processor hog that is. And don't forget, every single time a belt has to check, it might also have to pass back the information to the belt or the item behind it saying, you can't move either. You have to wait. And all that. So, I mean, we're, we're talking about a long conversation that has to happen every single game tick. Or every single time a process is requested and implemented, the belts have to say, hey, is there something in front of me? No? Proceed. Cool. Keep going. Get to it. Um, this is more cutting and painting. I don't think I'm super interested in literally any of these blueprints. And, oh, we're about to cut a ton of stuff out of here. Am I very sure I don't need this? This is a one-way trip. Yep, I don't need it. Uh, hey, want to see the game cry? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, wait. Am I cutting too much? No, I'm cutting exactly the amount I need to cut. So I need to just keep going wherever this goes. Right? Yep. Oh, no. Uh, you know how frames are usually measured in frames per second? This is now seconds per frame. I just need to verify that this is the right thing I'm screwing with. I should see some sort of either white circle or blue pinwheel or something in that regard. Come on, buddy. You can do this. White circle. Nuke. Yup. 16,000. That is a lot of buildings. We deleted how many? 10,000 before and it kind of made it squeal? 16,000. Come on now. Oof. Oh yeah, the game is much more responsive now. That is very cool. Okay, okay, okay. So white circles. Yep, I think this was absolutely necessary. So this is all... What is this? What is this producing? Okay, that's producing that which we need. Uh, I don't need this any longer, right? So all this... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Did I cut too much? No, we're fine. Okay. Uh, this was used for two purposes, so let's just get rid of that. <laughs> I kind of had a minor freak out. These systems are separate. That can go away. Yep. I have a separate pile going to the north. Completely different. Yep. There's still a lot of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Much better. Okay. Way snappier. Okay, so this produces white. White goes to the circles that are cut and chopped. Um... Yep, this produces all that. So, if I wanted to see if I damage anything, I could just wait literally right here at one of the merge points and verify that I did or didn't. Oh, the game is running significantly smoother now. Um, let's see here. So, we have all the pieces we need right here, and this will go on the bottom. So, we can start working on the last piece of this puzzle, legitimately, is we need another merger... Um, yeah, we could do it this way. We could totally do it this way. Um, I need that. 1,500, that's doable. This is going to go on the right side. And, oh, I just lost my place. Yep. This is going to go on the right side, and that's going to go on the left side, because of how it needs to be stacked. Um... I'd kind of like this stuff to meet in the middle, if it could all at all possible. Right about there. Um, cool. So just for gimmies, um, I need me some underneathy goodness to get the left stuff on uh, the right stuff on the left and the left stuff on the right. So let's make this incredibly simple. One, two, three, four. I only have really two coming in, so it's going to look something like this. And something ultimately like this. That's how that's going to look. I don't have a ton of repertoire. I don't have a ton of stuff to make this work. This is a fairly complex puzzle. Uh, but that's about how that looks if we double balance it and send it back this way. So just to signify this, I'm going to... Yep, just like that. And then this... Cool. So that handles that very nicely. I'm going to get how many coming out over here? The full eight, I think. Yeah, the full eight. Awesome. So let's go ahead and cut this up real nice. Uh, I need the big boy. I probably should have given myself a bit more room, but that's okay. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, the game is much, much smoother now. Okay, so give me this, please. I don't care about the orientation. It's fine. Yeah, after deleting... How many items did we delete? Like 40k? Warhammer? Uh, items? Yeah, that <laughs> probably cleaned up the, the caching and the logic very well. I should have saved it beforehand and then checked my save file to see exactly how much we nuked, but I'm really glad we got that done. Uh, everything's running spectacularly better. So that's probably one of the reasons why it doesn't ask for any of the old parts. That's probably a really smart mechanic, because if it asked for all the old stuff and all the new stuff... I think that might just overburden the game and just shatter it. Okay. So there's that. Um, let's just take a little bit of a taste. Okay, that's enough. It should do exactly what I think it will do, and then that's it. Oh, let's see. That's our dude. That's our dude for sure. Okay. Merge, merge merge okay so this is gonna look a lot like this when we're done with the parts of these guys this double line is just gonna replace it and then it's done just keep her going 
Done. Cool. Now we can kind of just play the waiting game, even though I totally don't want to. That's backfilling. Um, let's double check and see what else we can delete. Otherwise, we're just going to be spending the next chunk of time modernizing and cleaning up processes. So this all... What is this producing? I don't need these anymore. I don't need these at all. Where does this stop? Oh, both of these. Cyan stars, don't need them. Yep, don't need any of this stuff. This is going to be a really nice defragmentation. Boop, boop. 261. Uh, I don't really see any cool blueprints there that I like. Boop, boop. So that takes care of the cyan stars. And this is the yellow circle, red cross kind of thing. Red star, yeah. Oh, wow. I'll miss these factory chunks. I really will, but for the sake of processing, I need the stuff. Another 8,000. Awesome. Yeah, just so much less the computer has to manage when it's stuff I don't care about at all. I don't I don't need any of this I don't need any of this stuff. Get out of there. Okay, what is this thing producing? The red shuriken thingamadoos. I have ten times the amount. I don't think I'll need it. But I'll just let it go. Uh, it's not hurting anything or anyone. Uh, that I need, that I need. That I guess I still need. Um, I think, what do we got? Almost 30,000 blueprint imidus. Let's see what we could do about improving this situation. Oh, right, stacking. Uh, stacking is going to help out real nice. We're very close to that upgrade. It's going to give us, what, a third of an upgrade? Because a third of six is two, and it's a 2x upgrade. So I'm. that's a 33% upgrade. Yeah, we're backed up on pretty much everything else. It's the stacking that's the problem. Yep. Absolutely. So I think I'm going to let that sit. That's going to pretty much handle itself really nicely. Um, I know stacking was going to be the answer to this as well. Uh, that piece. Uh, but let's go take a look. Uh, pin square. I don't need to pin you any longer. Uh, this is the latest from now on, so go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Latest, 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 latest. There we go. Okay, and stacking is the problem here. Uh, we got plenty of the green boys. Yeah, all this advanced cutting is what really uh, cuts in to my production. So could I copy all this again? Let's see, we have enough shapes, right? Shapes aren't the problem. Painting's not the problem. It's literally just this. So how do we cut this out and make it better without completely screwing up everything? I'm trying to think. Huh. Okay, I think I know how. I think I totally know how. Um, here's what we're gonna do first. Uh, let's copy this. Right? Copy it, like, right here. I don't need that wide of berth. So, right there. And something like this? Oh, let's give ourselves some room. How about that? That looks pretty good. Um, what this is going to do to clean this up nicely is I'm going to merge it here. Trim all this out. And then it gets re-split. So let's, let's clean this up a bit. So that looks like that. This looks like this. No, what? There we go. See, that's a lot better. Uh, granted, <laughs> granted, we're not improving anything right now because I still have to gut the entire system to get this thing to work. 
Uh, right? I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, so it's it's effectively two to one. I think I'm just confusing myself. So there's four. We are missing some stuff. No, wait, 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 wait. This isn't right. <laughs> this isn't right at all. Yes, delete a lot of buildings. Uh, delete. Okay. That is correct. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now it's two per... It's, it's a one-to-one -one now. Yes, that's a lot better. Alright, the stacking upgrade we're going to get is going to be far superior. And now, everything we're going to do down here is going to piggyback up and go up there. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Uh, no, come on now. And of course, one, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> not right. There we go, okay. We're now setting in for the rest of it. So now we're not waiting on any of these shapes for half of what we're producing, but because we have a backlog, it's not nearly as efficient as I'd like it to be. Bra -ba -da -bra. So let's get this going on. Uh, real simple. Um, so this is gonna be, so these are all the same shape. So this is gonna look something like this. One, two, three, four. Right? So here's the master plan. One. Two. Three. Four. And now. One. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is this is correct. Right, right, right. Starting to lose track of everything again. Uh, three, and these need to be split out as well. Yeah, I'm really hoping these cutters and mergers really pick up the pace. So, a one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now we need the other side of this stuff to come over. So one, two, three, four. Now I somehow have to get these shapes split and diced and sliced and sent over as well. Which actually doesn't seem as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Because I'm going to use the cheese. Uh, the cheese! Ah, oh, just, just barely. The master plan. Oh no. Uh, this won't work. Drat. Uh, I was hoping I could weave it through right here real easy, like, actually. One, two, three, four. I totally can. Perfect. Hi. Uh, the long boy, please. One, two... Three, four. Yep, okay, so not as cleanly as I hoped. Damn. If I have one more square, this wouldn't be a problem. Which is usually how I feel about 99% of all my Factorio creation y things and Mindustry creation y thing. Oh, new upgrade. Yes! Cutter, stacker, rotator, stretcher, whatever. Ding! And now that we've completed that, it's time to hook it into the main vein. Uh, where are we? Hi. And... Cool. You can always turn that back on if we need, but we should be kicking out these like crazy. 
And we absolutely are. Good. All right. I like it. Uh, this is going to pick up when we get more of this going as well. Huh. I was hoping we'd see a lot more throughput than this. Well, it's improved. That's important, right? I suppose. Um, okay. So... Uh, this isn't gonna work either, I don't think. One, two, three... Yep, I need four lines to come through, not three. And I'd like it to be mildly uniform, if at all possible, because that would be just delightful. I'm not going to run these parts all the way around either because that sounds terrible on its face. I can't weave through this. Damn the man. Oh. I see the path. I see the path. Okay, cool. Now, this is being split down here, or it will be anyway. Um, it's probably just easier if I do it like this. Elegant? Gosh, no. Does it work? Heck yes. So this is going to be a little bit of snaking around. Definitely, definitely not modular. Definitely not poignant of any stretch. But this will still work. Okay, now we're going to do one more of these and then we'll have our template. So something like this. Perfect. Why do more work when you could do less work, right? And for this... Easy sauce, right? No problem. Get that all hooked in. That gives us the exact same shape. It totally does. Now we'll see a bit more work get done, which is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, actually, now that we got the stacker upgrade, now these other stackers are keeping up very easily, which is kind of funny, but whatever. Whatever. So, thanks for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of Shapes IO is in the books. And I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.